Good morning, and welcome to another edition of the Safety Net series. Uh, this is our third year of doing these broadcasts, and um, we're very grateful to have you with us today. Before we, we um, speak with Sarah with the Epilepsy Foundation of Alabama, we are gonna we want to thank our sponsors. Um, they're listed there for all that they do for us. We appreciate them, and they make a lot of the work that we do possible. So, all right. Good morning, Sarah. How are you? Great. How are you doing? Thanks Good. for having me on. Oh, very happy to have you. Um, so let's just jump right in. Uh, tell us about the Epilepsy Foundation of Alabama and what y'all do. Thank you. Well, I am thrilled to be here with you all. I work for the Epilepsy Foundation of Alabama, and I have been working with the foundation for about four years, but as all non know and partner agencies of the United Way of Southwest Alabama, the world has gone through quite some changes over the past several years, uh, but our mission remains the same, and that's to support people with epilepsy and seizures. And prior to coming to the foundation, I did not know a whole lot about seizures and epilepsy, but one in 10 people will have a seizure in their life. So you think about that, that is um, a really high statistic and there is a big stigma with seizures. A lot of people don't know a lot about it. A lot of people don't talk about it. There's uh, shame and stigma when really a seizure is electrical activity happening in the brain. And so we are here um, and specifically in the Mobile and Gulf Coast area, we have a long history in the state and a long history with the United Way of Southwest Alabama of patient education, patient assistance, information and referral, support groups, and more for people that are experiencing seizures uh, and here to walk with them through the journey and hopefully help them um, achieve their best outcomes with seizures. Okay. So um, is there a way to uh, recognize a seizure versus a stroke versus some other something if you were encounter either to experience them or to encounter someone who may be experiencing some some one of those things yes really good question so uh a lot of times seizures most people think that they are um someone is lying on the floor and convulsing. And that certainly is a type of seizure called a tonic clonic, formerly known as a grand mal seizure. But there are hundreds of types of seizures. So a lot of times they're individualistic to the person. And so it may appear as if someone is searing off into space or making repetitive movements. Um, oftentimes, actually, someone may actually look like they're under the influence. Um, and so we see a lot of that oftentimes with law enforcement. And um, people may be misunderstanding what's happening when it's actually seizures. And so I encourage anyone watching the Safety Net series to become Seizure First Aid certified. And that's a free course offered by the Epilepsy Foundation. We can deliver the training in person or virtually, or you can do it on our uh, learning portal, which is learn.epilepsy.com. And that can be found on our website, which you've graciously displayed <laughs> here. Uh, but a lot of people know what CPR is and they've become CPR certified. And we launched a seizure first aid certification course uh, in late 2020. And that really goes through how to recognize seizures, what to do when someone has a seizure, when to call for your emergency help, and what to do if someone doesn't have seizure control uh, and where to really seek that help. I know we're very grateful in Mobile to have a level four epilepsy center and that's a specialty care center. Um, there have both pediatric and adult specialty epilepsy doctors that we work closely with and refer people to uh, that are neurologists, but really specialize in seizures. And so mm -hmm. we encourage you, if you have any questions about what seizures are, what they look like, really that seizure first aid certification can help people um, learn to recognize. And, you know, along with what you were saying, strokes and seizures are often... Um, happening, especially in the older elderly population, they happen um, coincidingly with, uh, and then also too, seizures are very, very common in infants and senior adults. And they occur, they occur across all age ranges, but those are really the big two. And so we want people with, um, that have loved ones in that age range to really learn all they can about seizures. Okay. Um, do you have any, um, events or anything coming up that you want um, the world to know about? 
Yeah, we have a um, statewide event where people can virtually walk to an epilepsy. Um, November is Epilepsy Awareness Month. And so we invite people across the state, but specifically here today in the Mobile and Gulf Coast area to participate in our walk to end epilepsy. People can participate no matter where they are. Um, and we look forward to t next year to getting even more um, in-person events back on the books. Wonderful. And uh, they can find out more about how to sign up on the website. That's Sorry. correct. Yep. Yes. And the phone number is there yep. too. Uh, epilepsy.com backslash local backslash Alabama or 205-453-8291. That is correct. Um, That's how they can find me. Yes. Um, so what are some other common um, myths or misconceptions about epilepsy um, that you encounter? Yeah. I De just a few decades ago, people were thinking that when someone had a seizure, that maybe they were um, having a mental um, issue mm -hmm. or um, that they were having, you know, maybe probably like demonic things were happening to them or maybe they had been cursed. Uh, but really now with medical technology and advances, when people are hooked up with an EEG in a level four epilepsy center, you're able to see the electrical activity happening in the brain. People can see exactly when the seizure happens and what the brain is doing. And so that's a, that is a common misconception. And sadly, even four days ago, um, there was a famous comedian on TikTok. Someone had a seizure in the audience. Oh, no. Um, the comedian was reacting to what was happening in the audience and was making a lot of jokes about the seizure. And it's really gone pretty viral. Um over the past few days. And I know our um, national marketing team was reaching out to him to help really convey what was happening and how to respect the person and the misconceptions um, and that, you know, it's not, it's not something to laugh at. And so uh, we know people are often ashamed and embarrassed and um, isolated when they have seizures. I know I certainly experienced that myself when I was diagnosed with epilepsy at age 30, uh, but we're here to walk alongside with you and we want people to be educated um, that are around you and know that you're not alone. One in 10 people have a seizure in their life. One in 26 will develop epilepsy, which is recurring seizures. And so seizures are everywhere uh, and we are doing what we can to educate people how to properly take care of people um, when they have a seizure. And also like I'm uh, thankful that I am able to now take medicine every day and don't have seizures anymore. I'm about three, uh, four years seizure free. And so we want people to achieve that same outcome if at all possible. Um, and there are different types of treatments based on seizure type, whether that's sometimes it might be brain surgery. Sometimes it's a medicine people take every day. There are some implantable devices. Um, and sometimes, especially for teenagers, um, you can either grow, you can honestly just grow out of having the seizures. And so um, we want people to not give up and to continue to seek the best outcome that they can. Uh, especially, I know one thing that Trista and I have talked a lot about at the United Way is just um, equity and outcomes. And what we found is that especially people of color, people in rural areas often don't seek, um, you know, aren't as aware of the resources. And so we're really passionate about reaching those um, to encourage them not to give up as well. Well, I'll tell you that that one in 26 number, the, that is shockingly high. It you, is. Just, you do not think about um, that many people being affected by it. So. Um, so, yeah, it's that much more important that we get that the word gets out. It really how, can, how can people help? Yes, I would say the, the number one thing you can do is really remember that one in 26 number, because if you think about a average size of a classroom or if you think about your family on Thanksgiving day, you know, that's probably around 20 or 26 sure. people. And so that doesn't mean that one person um, at every Thanksgiving extended family meal has active seizures at that time, but at some point in their life they will. And so we want everyone to become seizure first aid certified. That is my call to action to everyone watching this YouTube today is to educate yourselves on how common seizures are, what they look like since they're not all convulsive and how, what to do when someone has a seizure um, and how to not give up um, looking for seizure control if someone in your life or yourself starts experiencing those because there is help out there and research is making tremendous headway with learning more and more about the brain and how to control seizures. And so please connect with us. Don't walk alone in the journey and educate yourselves about seizures and epilepsy.
Wonderful. Well, um, thank you so much for your time today. I've, again, I have all these conversations with the different partner agencies and I always have a, something new to take away. So thank you for sharing um, those numbers with me. That, that Again, it just, that's really struck me. Um, but we appreciate your time and thank you for um, being a partner with us and joining us here today. Well, we are so very grateful to be a United Way of Southwest Alabama partner agency. Your team is outstanding. And I look forward to um, the bright future ahead with uh, United Way with Justine leading way. Yes. So I'm going to put um, our I'm going to put a sponsor uh, overlay up so we can thank them one more time as we um, leave you all today. So um, thanks for joining us and everybody have a wonderful rest of their day. Thank you.